Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Gemini, I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys are doing the best of it and hope you guys are being, uh, staying safe. Anyways, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. I want to ask you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so you guys can get the newest updates on um, spell work and uh, readings that are coming up. We have tons of videos coming for you guys, as well as the series that we've been talking about for a bit now, how to interpret uh, the tarot cards. You guys definitely stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into your reading, Gemini. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? for the month of October 2021 regarding their love life. What is it that they need to know at this present time? Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please paint us a vivid imagery of the cards and what is unfolding for them. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding their love life. All right, Geminis, one more shuffle. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We're starting off here with the Knight of Pentacles. Going through this journey, um, a journey that has been very difficult, um, you guys have surpassed a lot of obstacles. Um, I do see someone peeking or trying to come back around, someone that is very connected to the past, um, where at some point you held uh, very dear or they meant a lot to you. Um, distance could be involved at the present time. But I do see them coming back around or I do see the desire to want to have some type of communication. Your next card here is the star card. Again, for those of you guys that have been working really hard towards, you know, trying to stabilize or trying to better the relationship, the star card is an indication of being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is um, a desire that you've been holding on to or a want that you've been asking for that will be unfolding for you, whether it's for those of you guys that are single or whether it's for those of you guys that have been challenged in this connection or in this relationship. Your next card is the Eight of Cups. So I do see that in this situation, for some of you guys, you may be at a distance from your partner. For others of you, communication could have been very slow in the making, um, could have felt like the partner was pulling back or they were a little bit more cold, more distant. Um, however, I do see both of you guys coming back around uh, the meeting of the minds or being able to express freely uh, what you guys have been going through. I feel that the partner or person of interest has been having a lot of things that they need to deal with on a personal level, and that could be the reason why there was some type of distancing here. Now, your next card is here, the Queen of Wands, maybe dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, um, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be their sun sign, could be their moon sign, or taking on these energies. The Queen of Wands is that of being confident. It's that of knowing what it is that you want and not apologizing for a Gemini. Um, if you have a tendency of being around friends or family members that often tell you you're asking for too much or... Um, your expectations when it comes to love and romance are, you know, off the charts or they're not realistic. What Spirit is telling you here is don't let that um, change your mind and settle into anything less than what you deserve, Gemini. This is about knowing your worth, knowing what it is that you bring to the table. And it's okay to ask for, you know, having reciprocation. Um, if they don't reciprocate or if they don't put as much effort and energy as you are, um, love yourself enough to walk away from that that is not worthy of you. Keep in mind, we just have Saturn going direct, as well as Mercury will be uh, going direct on the 18th of this month. So anything that has to do with communication where we haven't fully been able to express ourselves is no longer going to be an issue. Um, and again, what I'm hearing is shine bright, Gemini, and um, be who you genuinely are, who you authentically are with no apologies, okay? Now, your next card here is the Eight of Pentacles, putting effort and energy towards some type of restoration or some type of, um, like I said, coming together, being on the same page. Um, really, I feel like there is a specific person 
uh, that you could have been dealing with. This could be your partner. This could be a person that there was a recent separation or some type of giving each other some space. Um, I do see them coming back around and I see them looking or realizing at what they've been doing wrong, um, kind of taking self-responsibility. And I think that that's something very major for you. Um, because it's almost like you're a bit guarded. And the reason why you're a bit guarded could be because you feel um, like they haven't appreciated what what you've done, what you've done for them. So there is a almost, um, I don't want to say a realization because I feel like they've known this for a while, but I think that they are coming to terms with verbally expressing um, the gratitude or the thankfulness that they you know that they feel having you or have had you in their lives for some of you guys this could be a message from an ex that is coming back around trying to communicate you know gemini i've missed you so much you know i realized that you're the one that's for me etc etc um and i feel that not so much that you're holding on to that hope but i feel that it brings some type of vindication some type of conclusion um in matters of the heart for you now your next card here is the temperance yeah that's exactly what i was sensing you guys there is an elevation of communication that happens where it brings peace it brings harmony to yourself it brings the the knowing um especially for those of you guys that are dealing with uh, or will be hearing from a person that you're no longer with in a relationship it's almost like there's some type of healing that happens here with this communication so keep in mind if a person from your past has come back around don't get your hopes high gemini or don't be quick to assume that it's you know the universe bringing you guys two together it's more so to be able to give you some type of conclusion or to let go of certain feelings that you've been kind of like saying your peace is what they're telling me so i want to wish you guys the very best i hope that this gives you some type of guidance like share and um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.